Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm going to be sharing another what we eat in a week video. This is where I show you one meal from each day to inspire you and encourage you to make from scratch food in your own kitchen. Now, before I dive into today's video, I do want to tell you about my new fall meal plan. I launched a summer version of this, a 30 day meal plan with shopping lists and something new for four weeks of meals. And now I am finally ready to launch my fall version. It is full of all things cozy and fall, lots of soups, lots of warm, comforting food. I pulled a lot of recipes from it for this week's What We Eat in a Week, and it is now finally available. So you can grab that at bit.ly forward slash farmhouse fall meal plan. For day one of this week, I made a creamy chicken and gnocchi soup. For the gnocchi component of the soup, I normally use baked russet potatoes, but I didn't have any. And so I just used some new potatoes. I put them in a stainless pot with a little bit of water in the bottom, put the lid on and just boiled it until all of the water was evaporated and then just mashed them so that they were basically the same consistency as baked potatoes. I added the eggs, the salt. I had some homemade cheese that I made a few weeks ago from our dairy cow. It was supposed to be ricotta and it didn't quite turn out right, but I just threw it into this recipe anyways and it turned out just fine. Now, I didn't have any meat thawing. This was a Monday and a lot of times I make the mistake of not putting any meat in the refrigerator to thaw out by Monday. And so when that happens, there are a few things I can rely on and one is putting a frozen chicken into the Instant Pot. So that is what I did. Now to make the soup, I sauteed the veggies, carrots, celery, and onion, and some butter. I added flour to make a roux and some broth. Then I just simmered the veggies until they were tender, added the chicken that I picked from the bone after it came out of the Instant Pot, and then salt, pepper to taste, and some fresh cream. Now, I also didn't have any bone broth made, so I just used the liquid that the chicken cooked in as the base for the soup. After picking the bones, I did add them back to the Instant Pot along with a few reserved bones from the freezer in order to make a broth. I added the gnocchi to cook just a bit and some fresh spinach to finish the soup off. You can get the full recipe for einkorn gnocchi over on my blog, so I will leave a link for that and any other recipes in the description box. Of course, too, all the recipes are in my fall meal plan book. I also got some sourdough bread going on Monday. That was because I knew that I wanted to use the bread for a few other things later in the week, so I just did my no need artisan bread recipe, which yields two loaves. On day two, I made a sourdough sausage strata. This is such an easy meal to throw together. If you have a stale loaf or even just a fresh loaf of sourdough bread, cut it into cubes and toast it.
In a separate skillet, cook some ground sausage and onion, add 10 eggs, three cups of milk, salt, pepper, Lots of herbs. I went out to the garden and grabbed some fresh herbs because we still have plenty of those until it frosts. We've got herbs. And then I just added some cheese. I did a mix of Parmesan, mozzarella, and cheddar because it's what I had and it made a really nice blend and baked it all together until it was cooked through. So good. It's a good brunch or breakfast recipe, but it also is filling enough and has like all the food groups for something like lunch or dinner. For day three, I did a split pea soup. To make it, I added some carrots, celery, and garlic to a pot with olive oil. Sauteed that a bit and then added split peas, broth. I used my strained off homemade bone broth from Monday, as well as bay leaves and then a meaty ham bone. You can use ham hocks. If you don't have access to a ham bone, you can just get ham hocks from the grocery store. Let that simmer for hours. The longer, the better. Add salt, pepper to taste. Now, I like to serve mine with croutons. It adds a nice crunch and kids really like it that way. I just diced up some sourdough bread, added olive oil, herbs de Provence, salt, pepper, baked it until nice and toasty in the oven and just topped that soup with a little bit of that. Even the kids love a meal like this. Once the split peas are nice and cooked and the veggies are soft, you can remove the ham from the bone, add that back in. meal I did pork steaks with an onion cream sauce and fried potatoes. So first I heated oil in a skillet over medium high heat. I sprinkled both sides of the steaks with salt and pepper and then just browned them for a few minutes on each side, about three or four minutes. Next, I added in some butter and onion, salt and pepper, garlic, and sauteed that for about five minutes. I added in a bit of flour and stirred until the butter was all soaked up. Then I added in some chicken stock, Worcestershire sauce, and cream and simmered for a few more minutes. I added the pork steaks back to the skillet and cooked for another five minutes and topped with parsley. For the potatoes, I preheated the cast iron skillet and oil on the stove for about five minutes. And once the oil was nice and hot, added in the potatoes. This just gives them a nice sear, makes them nice and toasty. I also added a few herbs to the potatoes as well as salt to taste. For the next meal, I did roast 
tacos. This is one of my favorite new ways to use up roast. I like to make roast with a garlic mashed potato and some carrots, but this is another way to use that meat up without having the same thing all the time. So I just add a roast to the Instant Pot on the saute function, sear on both sides until it has a little bit of color, add about a cup or two of water and then allow it to cook at high pressure for about an hour. This just makes the meat fall apart and tender. I add some taco seasoning and that flavors it up to serve with corn tortillas, avocado, sauerkraut, shredded cheddar, sour cream, whatever taco fixings that you have. I also did serve it with a little cilantro. For the next night, I used my leftover chicken to make a from scratch white chicken chili. I actually already had some beans that I pre-cooked on a meal prep day and froze. So I added those to the soup with the chicken. Now before doing that, I sauteed some diced bell peppers, onions, and garlic and some butter. I added in bone broth. as well as salt to taste, cumin, juice from a lime, some frozen sweet corn, those beans and chicken back in. And then I like to serve white chicken chili with sour cream and cilantro, diced avocado. It's very fresh, but also really comforting for the fall season. I also made some of my popcorn cornbread to serve alongside. To make this, I actually mill popcorn right in my grain mill and use that as the corn component. You can find the full recipe again on the blog as well as in the meal plan.
For day seven, I made some einkorn hamburger helper. I keep a lot of these einkorn noodles on hand to toss into meals like this. I also like to toss it into chili to really stretch it out. So for my hamburger helper recipe, I brown ground beef with minced garlic, Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. And then I add butter to the cooked and strained noodles. I add milk or cream, depending on how much you have. I usually do some combination of the two and then some cheese, stir that around until it's melted. And then I add in a few secret ingredients, I guess you could say, some Dijon mustard, nutmeg, salt, and eggs. Now this just gives it a really creamy consistency. And when you toss the meat with those cheesy noodles, it really does taste like Hamburger Helper. Kids love it, but it has all the quality ingredients. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I gave you some mealtime inspiration. Also, if you need a plan for fall, so for a full month of meals, whether it's in October, November, or all throughout the cold season, because these are nice, comforting dishes, make sure to head to bit.ly forward slash farmhouse fall meal plan to grab that. It'll be sent right to your inbox. You can download it. You can have it printed if you want to, or just refer to it on your laptop computer or your phone or your iPad, whatever you have that's easiest for you in the kitchen to reference all the time. I had mine printed off at a local print shop in order to show it to you. You can also get it printed and bound really cheaply if you do the black and white version. It's a little bit more expensive to do the color, obviously. Or you can even just print it off on your own home computer, staple it together, and use it that way. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.